Yakima Town Hall's latest speaker series kicking off with former politician and Seahawks wide receiver Steve Largent, also offering a unique opportunity for students. That's coming up. Also tonight, closing the death chamber in Walla Walla. We'll tell you why. Plus, we are on the economy watch. A big decision from the Federal Reserve today, cutting interest rates for the first time since 2020. What this means for your wallet coming up. And beautiful weather today as we look down into the Yakima Valley. It's been windy. I'll tell you when those winds will die down coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. And a very good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. We start right first at 6 o'clock with breaking news. Police say a juvenile died over the weekend after a drive-by shooting last week. Last, uh, late afternoon last Thursday, Sunnyside Police responded to a report of a drive-by shooting around Rouse Road and Beckner Alley. Sierra Vista Middle School was locked down and a car chase started after the suspect vehicle refused to stop. That car crashed around Lester Road and Van Bell Road. Four suspects fled into a cornfield where officers were able to detain all of them. One of those suspects was an adult and the other th and three others juveniles. The victim of that drive by shooting also a juvenile with a gunshot wound to his head. They were taken to a hospital where law enforcement now says the victim died over the weekend. The prosecutor's office recommended additional charges of murder in the second degree for those suspected to be involved. Other news tonight, the 52nd season of Yakima Town Hall kicked off this morning at the Capitol Theater with a special speaker, former Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Steve Largent. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell has been covering town hall speakers for years and got a chance to meet Largent before his talk. One of the goals of Yakima Town Hall is to bring in big name speakers who might not otherwise come to this area, but it also presents a unique opportunity for students. I am extremely excited to announce our first speaker of the season. Can you tell? <laughs> Steve Largent. Largent, a record-setting Seattle Seahawks pass receiver for 14 years before serving four terms in Congress. Now sharing his message with the Yakima community, including 281 local students. My message is a positive message of hope and uh, encouragement. A message left with three student journalists who got to interview Largent backstage. Being like like so close to him and being just like in this intimate space, like so I feel like it's so cool just um, being able to ask. What's just one piece of advice that you have for, for you today? Not trying to be somebody else uh, or be somebody that you're not is uh, a really important lesson for young people. After three years of reporting, her favorite part? Experiences like this, honestly, I feel like being able to do these really cool things and have the opportunity to meet new people. I was really nervous. <laughs> like, like, if I was like alone for a second, I would have cried. What would you say to students that are trying to become players in football like you were when you were in high school? Get your education. Have a fallback uh, that you, you can you can use uh, for the rest of your life. The takeaway from her first press conference. He has been like so many things, like a politician, an NFL player, a CEO, right? And like it's just like great thinking that like, but if something doesn't turn out the way that you want it to be, you could still be something else and still have a good career like he did. So what made you like want to make the switch to Congress after football? My wife, that was what changed my mind. So can you tell me about the jersey you're wearing? <laughs> it's my dad's jersey. And he's the one who helped like really push for me to go to this. He's a really big fan. He loves Steve Largent. Like that's his all time favorite player. Her takeaway? Celebrities and like famous people. It's very like you feel like they're in a different world. And then when you talk to them, you're like, we're, we're in the same world. We're on the same level. Like it's, a, it's okay. They're regular people. All three students hoping to continue reporting after graduation taking this memory with them. We'll have a schedule and the names of the upcoming Yakima Town Hall speakers on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. What a cool story, Emily, thank you for that. Well, turning to our weather now. Well, uh, first alerts, Stacy Lee is here as we continue to count down the days until fall. And Stacy, how are we looking now at midweek? 
really all guys to report about is yes it's almost fall and the breezy to gusty winds and we've been seeing those uh, very strong winds today once again in Ellensburg and down the Columbia River Gorge winds are going to pick up as we move through the night so that's what the wind speeds look like now the gusts though 31 miles an hour 32 miles an hour in the Dalles so much lighter winds in the Columbia Basin 81 degrees beautiful on our Legends Casino Skycam our winds here 10 miles per hour sunset at 701 and remember, we're losing two minutes of daylight as we head towards uh, winter solstice. Temperatures elsewhere around the area very pleasant all through the region, 70s and still the low 80s. Temperatures tonight, you might want to grab a coat a little on the cool side, 40s and the low 50s. So let's recap uh, what you got going on. Pretty mild weather this evening, cooler temperatures overnight. Breezy winds continuing tomorrow. We'll see slightly warmer temperatures or pretty close to what we saw today and then a nice weekend ahead. I'll break it all down coming up in my full weather forecast. Austin Riley. Thank you, Stacy. New tonight in Walla Walla, Washington Department of Corrections officials closed down the death chamber earlier this morning. For decades, inmates sentenced to death could either die by hanging or lethal injection. The state says a total of 78 inmates have been executed there since 1904. But the last person was Cal Coborn Brown back in 2010. Ten years ago, Governor Inslee instituted a moratorium on the death penalty. No word on what the room in Walla Walla will be turned into moving forward. Turning to Washington state politics, Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson and former Representative Dave Reichert, the Democratic and Republican 2024 gubernatorial nominees in Washington, just hit the stage to participate in a debate hosted in Spokane by the Association of Washington Business. The two candidates met just last week in Seattle to go head to head. Ferguson says Reichert is more in line with former President Trump and opposes reproductive rights, but Reichert has said he he won't vote for Trump and won't change the state constitution to end abortion access. Well, the Washington State Department of Licensing has announced a shortage of license plates across the state, but inmates are now helping to make more. The Washington State Department of Licensing says they have unveiled this state-of-the-art license plate manufacturing facility at the Washington State Penitentiary, ensuring that license plates are produced more efficiently and with greater precision. Now, this upgrade enhances the vocational training provided to incarcerated individuals. For now, new customers will be issued a temporary license plate as permanent ones process. Washington's economy added an estimated 1,600 jobs and the August unemployment rate dripped slightly to 4.8 percent. Goods producers, including construction, manufacturing and mining, along with logging industries, experienced job losses in August. Education and health services led statewide employment growth from July to August, as well as during the past 12 months. The unemployment rate has hovered at 4.8 to 4.9 percent since March 2024. Decreases in paid claims in two industries helped contribute to the decrease. That's manufacturing and construction. A major milestone in the fight against inflation. The Federal Reserve announcing an interest rate cut for the the first time in years. Yeah, and this comes as Americans face the highest interest rates that we have seen in more than two decades. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. A pivotal move from the Federal Reserve today, cutting interest rates for the first time in four years. The Fed reducing rates half a percentage point. This recalibration of our policy stance will help maintain the strength of the economy and the labor market and will continue to enable further progress on inflation as we begin the process of moving toward a more neutral stance. Americans have been dealing with high borrowing costs for everything from mortgages to credit cards. If you've been carrying a balance on your credit card, you've felt the sting of high rates with the average APR now near 21 percent according to bank rate. A rate cut could mean a slight decrease there. You might just see a couple of dollars difference in your monthly um, payment due on your credit card, about under $10 a month less for that car loan, um, and about $50 a month on, on an average um, interest rate for a mortgage. The Fed dialing back its years-long fight against inflation 
inflation, which has slowed dramatically from its peak of about 9% in 2022. We're now at 2.5%. We have dramatically come down much closer to the Fed's 2% target. But look at here. The unemployment rate has ticked up at the same time to 4.2%, and that's what's troubling for the Fed. The Fed remaining cautious. We will continue to make our decisions meeting by meeting. We know that reducing policy restraint too quickly could hinder progress on inflation. At the same time, reducing restraint too slowly could unduly weaken economic activity and employment. The good news here, this is expected to be the first of many interest rate cuts from the Fed. They could last through next year. Credit card rates could possibly be even two percentage points lower than what we're seeing today. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Washington State University Tri-Cities Institute for Northwest Energy Futures, or INEF, is hosting its open house and ribbon cutting in just a few weeks. On October 2nd, from 4.30 to 6 p.m., learn how WSU Tri-Cities is working to meet the clean energy demands of the future. I, the INEF is positioned to tackle the complex transition to clean energy by coordinating and connecting WSU energy efforts and partners to innovate solutions. In the 17,000 square foot facility, there are office spaces, laboratories, a high bay area and more to house the different entities who will be utilizing the space. We have almost 30 entities across WSU working on some aspect of energy and many of them will be there and have information and people you can talk to to learn about many of the different topics and many of the different activities on the, uh, across the WSU system. And those entities include transportation, nuclear, electric grid, sustainable aviation fuels and more areas working on clean energy solutions. At the Institute, there's also leasable laboratory space along with community classrooms the Institute plans to expand later on. The Institute for Northwest Energy Futures can be found at 2892 Pauling Avenue in Richland. And again, that open house is on Wednesday, October 2nd from 430 to 6 p.m. Apple Valley News Now Live at 6 is just getting started, still ahead. Oregon officials mistakenly registering voters. We're looking into that. And Stacy will return. She'll have your full first alert weather forecast. Don't go anywhere. Back by popular demand, it's Steve Hon Kia's 2 for 222, but only while supplies last during the summer clearance sale. If Steve Hon Kia can sell two new Kias for 222, imagine what you'll save on all wheel drive SUVs, but only at Steve Hon's Kia.com. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years, started off here as an entry level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now almost. Um, what I do here, I handle not so much the day-to-day -day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks, um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it gonna look like? What does the food preparation look like? We have everything from catering, fast food, employee meals, which is a cafeteria style setting, and then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do a buffet here um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have, um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property, so if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife, we're gonna show you how to cut vegetables, we're gonna show you how to cut meat, we're gonna show you how to use all the equipment, is the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working here at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. Why do you Goodwill? Well, there are countless reasons. Goodwill makes it easy to support my ongoing creative projects at home with their affordable items. To be environmentally friendly through upcycling, reusing, and recycling. For the chance to uncover brand new items at unbelievable prices. Goodwill means being economical with my money. With hundreds of reasons to shop at Goodwill, you can feel great about knowing 95.7 cents of every dollar you spend helps your community. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Right now at Les Schwab, it's the Score More sales event. Save up to $160 instantly on a wide selection of four tires and four wheels. And every tire is covered by America's best tire warranty. It's a better deal on better tires. Get more from Les. 
Let Quantum Legal protect you and be your champion on the legal battleground. Whether it's a fight for justice in the face of criminal accusations, personal injury claims, or workplace accidents, Quantum Legal is your unwavering ally. An aggressive offense is your greatest defense. Quantum Legal is the sword and shield you've been seeking. Your best defense, Quantum Legal. Back by popular demand, it's Steve Hahn Kia's 2 for 2 22, but only while supplies last during the summer clearance sale. If Steve Hahn Kia can sell two new Kias for 2 22, imagine what you'll save on all wheel drive SUVs, but only at Steve Hahn's Kia.com. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Weekdays at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Apple Valley News Now at 6. Professional women's basketball is returning to one northwest city, Portland, Oregon. This will be the WNBA's 15th team. The yet-to-be-named club will play its home games at the Moda Center starting in 2026. Portland previously had a WNBA team, the Portland Fire, from the years 2000 to 2002. The city's new franchise will be owned and operated by Raj Sports. And you can learn more about this at Apple Valley newsnow.com. Other news and also in Oregon, the state's Department of Transportation is saying the Department of Motor Vehicles mistakenly registered more than 300 non-citizens to vote. The incident happened when they applied for a driver's license and now legislators are concerned with the 2024 election right around the corner. Julia Lopez has the latest. What did you know? When did you know about it? And what are you doing about it? Now? Last week, the Oregon DMV admitted to mistakenly registering 306 people to vote without proof of citizenship when they applied for a driver's license. DMV officials say they've added a new prompt to ensure desk staff are accurately entering citizenship. Oregon Secretary of State LaVon Griffin Valade released a statement saying they notified all impacted residents and they would not receive a ballot unless they prove citizenship. Right now, we have one finger pointed at the other finger. Well, it's their fault. No, it's this fault. No, there was a breakdown in the system. Was it a data, a data clerical error? Maybe, but if you're asking DMV people to do a job that's the Secretary of State's job to, because they have the expertise in registering people to vote, where did that happen and why did that happen? House Minority Leader Jeff Helfrich still has questions. He's called upon his Democratic counterpart, Majority Leader Ben Bowman, to bring the Secretary of State and DMV leadership in front of the House Rules Committee for answers. Congresswoman Andrea Salinas said in a statement, this is a total malpractice on the part of the DMV. She called on the state to quickly remove illegally registered voters, conduct a full transparent investigation and remedy the issue. Locally, Multnomah County reports 58 mistaken registrations. Washington County says 94 people were erroneously registered, and Clackamas County found 18 of these registrations. Each told Fox 12 they have inactivated their voter registration and they're ensuring no ballots will be sent without proof of citizenship. Voters say they still feel secure enough to cast their ballots in November. I personally kind of feel all right. Like, I want to trust that everything's going to be okay. That kind of uh, administrative mistake happens from time to time. It was like 300 people, you said. Yeah. That's pretty small, and if only a couple of them even voted, you know, that, that doesn't really tip the scales too much, especially in Oregon. That was Julia Lopez reporting. In terms of security for online registrations, a representative with the Se Secretary of State's office said people must have a valid Oregon license. They can also use a permit, ID, or social security number to ensure eligibility. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And we're putting another gorgeous day in the books on your Wednesday. Looking outside on our Apple Valley new sky cam in Kennewick, 81 degrees. Traffic looks good. Humidity 33%. Our winds at 10 miles per hour and our sunset tonight at 701. Those temperatures remain cool as this upper level low has been sinking down south, bringing temperatures 10 or 20 to 25 degrees below normal. But don't kid, I was looking at the uh, highs for Vegas. They're going to be around 82, <laughs> normally around 100. So uh, cool weather, probably welcome there. Uh, Wednesday, we've got another system moving into the western U.S. That was across uh, Montana. Look at the weird jet stream dipping way down and then around. That's going to start bringing in 
uh, warmer air for us tomorrow and then the jet stream changes yet again on Friday and we'll have a few cooler temperatures moving into the weekend. With the changing transition of those jet streams, we've got lots of gusty winds, especially in those mountain gap areas. The Kittitas Valley, we're seeing sustained winds right now at 17. We'll see these winds picking up tonight in Yakima and staying pretty uh, casual here in the Tri-Cities, picking up slightly later tonight and then calming back down. Staying windy though in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley, starting our day with some breezy winds in the Tri-Cities, foothills of the Blues, and those winds will pick up once again in the Yakima, Kittitas Valley, Columbia River Gorge, light breezes through the Columbia Basin, picking up at some uh, areas like out of the Hanford area as well tomorrow. So breezy winds, again, only the big weather story going on today. Let's take a look at our temperatures tonight. It's going to be cool. Grab a coat. 40s and 50s in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Columbia Basin, 40s and 50s as well. Most of us in the 50s tonight. And those low 50s in the foothills of the Blues. Pendleton, a chilly 47. For tomorrow, look for mostly sunny skies. Seasonal and like we said, breezy. Most of us in the 70s will be hitting the 80s, just slightly warmer. If you're heading out this weekend, it's going to be pretty nice all through the Pacific Northwest. However, we're going to see some showers developing on Sunday, especially in the Seattle area. Uh, we have about a 50% chance of rain there on Sunday. Portland, Oregon looking great. 70s overnight lows in the 50s. If you're heading to the coast, look for overcast conditions with temperatures in the 60s and up into Spokane. We'll see temperatures in the 70s a little overcast on Sunday. Seven day planning forecast 80s on Thursday, cooling down with those uh, those winds sliding down from Canada as we move into the weekend. And then we could see those 80s return early next week. Dry cities, 81 tomorrow, cooling down slightly into the weekend. First day of fall on Sunday, a little bit cloudy there, but overall not a bad looking forecast. In Ellensburg, though, we'll be dealing with those breezy to gusty winds for several days with a slight chance of showers developing on a Sunday. Walla Walla looking good. Look for those breezy winds. Temps just under 80 degrees tomorrow, warming back up middle of next week. And in Hermiston, once again, the breezy winds and first day of fall going to be a little bit overcast, going to be great. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying their pumpkin spice. And guys, how what are you thinking about this weather right now? <laughs> I like the look of it. <laughs> I do, too. It's making me happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Stacy, thank you. Still ahead on Apple Valley News now at 6. It is the season for RSV. We're on your side with ways to protect yourself. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try our bagel sandwiches. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Hapo Center Pasco. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 Sale. All right, Jay, time to go. It's hard to believe how quickly time flies. Our lives definitely get a lot busier this time of year. Soccer practice, club sports, school events, it's a lot to juggle. Having an SUV that we can easily pack everything into and still have plenty of room is amazing. Come see us today and feel the power of Fingry. This fall, discover the secret to a perfect night's sleep when you shop at Walker's Furniture and Mattress as Walker's marks down many of their best-selling name brand mattresses and take advantage of special five-year financing with no money down and no minimum purchase so you can fall asleep in comfort and pay over time. Plus, get an additional $300 of free furniture with select sets sold during the fall sleep savings this week at Walker's. Board-certified family medicine provider, Dr. Michael Adling, is now caring for patients of all ages at Prosser Memorial Health's Benton City Clinic. His services include annual physicals and preventative care, well child exams, the treatment of cold and flu, acute illnesses, and more. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Adling, call the Benton City Clinic at 509-588-4075. Or to learn more about his services, visit ProsserHealth.org. This is how we care. Women, were you exposed to dactyl while you were pregnant? 
Infant birth defects are caused by this toxic weed killer used in farming, landscaping, and gardening. As a result, the EPA has asked agricultural workers to stop using Dactyl, also known as DCPA. If you or your child was injured by Dactyl, protect your rights for compensation. Call Weitz and Luxembourg today at 917 Lawyers to learn more. That's 917 Lawyers. You love a cold, refreshing soft drink from McDonald's. So we got even colder ones. Behold the cold. Enjoy your favorite medium drink for just $2.29. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back. COVID-19 cases are high in many parts of the U.S. and they're continuing to rise. And with uh, flu season coming up and RSV cases already starting to tick up. Experts say now is the time to protect yourself. Mandy Gaither explains how to get ready for respiratory virus season. <laughs> it's about that time of year again. The CDC forecast suggests this respiratory virus season will be similar to last year's, which brought more than 20 hospitalizations for every 100,000 people in one week at its peak. That's far worse than in pre-pandemic years. Getting our vaccination numbers up is still an ongoing battle. Dr. Jared Eddy with National Jewish Health says the best way to protect yourself and those around you is by getting vaccinated. Last year was the first year the U.S. had vaccines available to protect against all three major respiratory viruses, flu, RSV, and COVID-19. You are able to get vaccines at the same time. When it comes to COVID-19, the CDC recommends everyone ages six months and older receive an updated vaccine this season. When to get it varies. If you're at higher risk, including seniors or people who are immunocompromised, now is a good time to receive it since COVID-19 cases are high. Others who may have natural immunity from a recent infection may decide to wait. The seasonal flu vaccine is also recommended for everyone six months and older. September and October are the best times to get those. As for RSV, the vaccine is recommended for all adults 75 and older, along with those 60 and older at higher risk because of certain chronic medical conditions or if they live in a nursing home or long-term care facility. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. All right, the region's only live and local news at 6.30 p.m. is coming at you next. We'll have more headlines, plus Stacy, how's our weather forecast looking? Well, it's been pretty nice, I think. I've got good news for you heading into the weekend. Monday, Washington battles Cincinnati, followed by a special Apple Valley News Now primetime. This fall, make your home a cozy retreat filled with comfort and style when you shop at Walker's Furniture and Mattress. You'll find your favorite brands in stock at prices you'll love. Plus, take advantage of special five-year financing at Walker's. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need the number one selling subcompact tractor in the U.S. so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for 0% APR for up to 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Fun and excitement are waiting for you at Wild Horse Resort and Casino in Pendleton. Try your hand at Vegas-style slots and table games, indulge in fine dining, enjoy restaurant amenities, or swing away on two championship golf courses. Find out what's happening with upcoming promotions, book hotel rooms, buy event tickets, and more on the new mobile app. App users get more chances to win through exciting pop-up promotions and exclusive app-only games. Download, play, and win today. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Get 3.9% APR for 36 months plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance through Cadillac Financial. 
The Coca-Cola Grandstand is where the action is at this year's Central Washington State Fair. Kicking things off on Saturday, September 21st with the epic rodeo action at the Aces Wild Rough Stock Roundup. Showcasing some of the very best cowboys and cowgirls competing today. And that's just the start. On September 28th and 29th, catch the high-octane excitement of Insanity Fest. Featuring monster trucks, jet truck, and truck pulling like you've never seen before. Get your tickets today at fairfun.com. All event tickets include fair admission. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double-checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah. It's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple-checked, and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. This fall, make your home a cozy retreat filled with comfort and style when you shop at Walker's Furniture and Mattress. You'll find your favorite brands in stock at prices you'll love. Plus, take advantage of special five-year financing at Walker's. Recently, Apple Valley News Now first alert weather forecast weekend thunderstorms. But some viewers told us that their phone app predicted sunshine. Well, the apps were wrong. Trust Apple Valley News Now first alert weather. Always on your side. Next ET, Dancing with the Stars returns, plus our exclusive at home with Eric Roberts, his wild new memoir, and alleged family feud. Do you think she will accept your apology? She's my sister. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Right now on the region's only live and local news at 6.30 p.m. is one of America's best restaurants in Walla Walla or Richland. Also ahead and new at 6.30. I'm Monique Ledesma with Apple Valley News Now. Coming up, find out how the SoCo Creative Art Festival helps bring community members and local artists together and what you can expect to see at the festival. All that and more coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Austin Reed with Riley Fitzgerald joining us tonight. Hello there. Hello. It is Wednesday, but it feels like we're just getting closer and closer to Friday. Maybe I'm just a little hopeful. Also <laughs> fall as well. So yes. Stacy Lee joining us in our First Alert Weather Center. By the way, during this next half hour of news, we're going to be talking about the Golden Bachelorette. Oh, that's going to be exciting to talk <laughs> yeah. about. We're so. all super excited. So Stacy, we'll start with weather, though. Mm -hmm. All right. A picture speaks a thousand words. Look outside. It is beautiful. Beautiful this evening on our Bymart Skycam looking down into the Yakima Valley. Look at the sunshine. Very nice, albeit a little bit breezy. The winds are going to start picking up a little bit this evening in Yakima. 78 degrees, pleasant. Our sunset at 701. Let's take a look at sustained winds. It's been very blustery in Ellensburg as well as Goldendale, that Columbia River Gorge area. A little breezy through the Columbia Basin, and those winds are going to continue over the next uh, several days, so just be aware of that. The gusts, however, the big story. Look at those gusty winds in Ellensburg and the Dalles. Again, we've been seeing that throughout the day through the region. Temperatures are very pleasant all through the area. 70s and 80s, as you can see on our map tonight, cooling down into the 40s and 50s. Grab a coat. It's going to be a little on the chilly side. Just to recap, mild evening, cool temperatures, breezy winds continue tomorrow. We'll also have temperatures similar to today, maybe slightly warmer in some areas. But get ready, a nice weekend ahead. Austin, Riley. All right, Stacey, thank you. Well, the South Columbia Creative District, known as SoCo, is gearing up to host its annual Creative Art Festival. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma reports how this event helps connect local artists with the community. The SoCo Creative Arts Festival is a once-a-year celebration of artists and crafters in Tri-Cities. I spoke with Warren Hughes, who is a local artist and a member of SoCo, and he says this festival is a representation of what SoCo is. The goal of SoCo is to create a centralized organization where artists can come and get connected with local businesses, with opportunities to pursue public art, and just meet up with each other. There is a large community in Tri-Cities and it's kind of spread out, and SoCo as a creative district, our goal is to help educate and connect artists with real economic work to make art a viable career in Tri-Cities. Hughes says this festival also serves as a way to make connections between local artists and the community. It is an awesome opportunity to connect with the community. You will meet people that you never 
never expected to meet, you will get to talk about your work. Um, it is really a fulfilling time to, and you know, the money, it's selling stuff's kind of cool, but being able to talk to the community and engage them on art on a really like personal level is just unbelievable. Kennewick Avenue to Dayton Street and Washington Street will be closed to cars the whole duration of the festival. Hughes says this is what people can expect to see at this year's festival. So I believe the roster, we have 20 woodworkers, we have nearly 20 artists that'll be vending. I'm going to have some of my stuff out there. Um, there's going to be a big quilt show in the Key Bank parking lot. And I think there's six bands, six musical acts that'll be playing throughout the, the day. Hughes also tells me that coming to this event is more than just a festival. It's about supporting local artists. If you have something better to do on your Saturday, then that's great. But in Tri-Cities, supporting your local artists and supporting your downtowns and the historic districts is a pretty important thing to do. And if you want there to be these events going forward, then it's time to come out and support them. Hughes has been involved with the festival for the past two years to make it easier for the next generation of artists to get engaged in the community and start pursuing a career in art. Reporting in Kennewick, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. All right, Monique, thank you for that story. By the way, the event is this Saturday. It's from 10 a.m. until 4 in the afternoon. Check this out. America's best restaurant swung by the Mid-Columbia region to feature local businesses this week. America's Best Restaurants highlights local independently owned restaurants to show off the food and talk with the owners. Two local businesses, The Bonfire in Walla Walla and Stick and Stone in Richland are getting this exciting experience. Luis Rivera, the host with America's Best Restaurants, says the food is a bonus, but it's really about the people behind the uniform. The biggest thing is the people, right? Because at the end of the day, nobody does business with a business. People do business with the people they know, like, and trust, okay? And, and when people come in and they get to meet those owners, they get to have those stories, right, those table touches, the food tastes different. We also talked with the owners of the bonfire and Stick and Stone. All the details about what they hope to get out of this experience and also how they got selected is coming up tomorrow on Apple Valley News Now. In more consumer news, Tupperware and some of its subsidiaries have filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. The company, known for its plastic food storage containers and sales parties, announced the filing in a statement on Tuesday. Tupperware is seeking court approval to facilitate, uh, to facilitate a sale process for the business. The Florida-based company says it's also seeking court approval to continue operating during the bankruptcy proceedings. Founded in 1946, Tupperware has struggled with declining sales in recent years. The city of Yakima is asking for input from the community about the 6th Avenue rebuild and rail renovation project, which Yakima Valley Trolleys says is crucial to the future of the local trolley system. They are working on improving the 6th Avenue roadway between Walnut Street and River Road. The city says it may or may not completely renovate the trolley rack along the corridor based on public feedback. Yakima Valley Trolley says if the city doesn't renovate it, they will lose their most popular route, the 6th Avenue line to Sela, and will lose their designation as the last intact interurban electric railway left in North America. There are potentially options that that uh, would not include a trolley track, but that is not an option that at this point is being recommended, much less considered. The city is inviting residents to an open house on Thursday, September 19th. So that's tomorrow, of course, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. It's going to happen at Garfield Elementary School. The news at 6.30 is just getting started. Still ahead tonight. We're introducing you to this week's Operation Best Friend. Adorable Zoe is on the way. I got to meet her yesterday. I can't wait to show everybody about this. Also, Stacy is up next with your full weather forecast. We'll be right back. Josh Cobra, first alert weather on Good Morning Northwest from Apple Valley News Now on your side. It only happens once a year. Steve Hunt Kia's summer clearance sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. You can take advantage of Steve Hunt all-wheel drive sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Hunt Kia.com. 
At Fred's, not only do we guarantee the best prices, we prove it. Our live price card keeps things transparent, showing you real-time prices. No gimmicks, just the best prices on in-stock, get-it-today inventory. And when it comes to beating the big box stores, our prices aren't just competitive, they're unbeatable. Check out how we stack up. Whether it's this amazing new fridge or this energy-efficient dishwasher, Fred's prices are always the best. At Fred's, we sell appliances, only appliances. Did you know that you can get up to $300 of free furniture with select Serta and Beautyrest mattress sets at all 13 Walker's Furniture and Mattress stores? Every locally broadcast game, the Seattle Kraken, all season long on Apple Valley News Now. All right, Chief, time to go. It's hard to believe how quickly time flies. Our lives definitely get a lot busier this time of year. Soccer practice, club sports, school events, it's a lot to juggle. Having an SUV that we can easily pack everything into and still have plenty of room is amazing. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. Women, were you exposed to dactyl while you were pregnant? Infant birth defects are caused by this toxic weed killer used in farming, landscaping, and gardening. As a result, the EPA has asked agricultural workers to stop using Dactyl, also known as DCPA. If you or your child was injured by Dactyl, protect your rights for compensation. Call Whites in Luxembourg today at 917-LAWYERS to learn more. That's 917-LAWYERS. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearing some new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Hapo Center Pasco. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. I felt like there was just no answers to get out of the anxiety and the depression that I had. Introducing Neurostim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA-approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. There's nothing better than just being able to enjoy life again. Reach out to Neurostim TMS today and rediscover the light and joy in your life. It only happens once a year. See Han Kia Summer Clearance Sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. You can take advantage of Steve Han All Wheel Drive Sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Han Kia.com. All right, it's now time for Operation Best Friend, which you see every Wednesday on Good Morning Northwest and Apple Valley News Now. Yeah, take a look at this cutie. She's watching you with both eyes and has got the look. My name is Angela. This is my son, Chance. And this is Zoe from the Pitbull Pen. As you can tell, she's got two eyes, so she's always keeping an eye on you, one with the blue eye and one with brown. She's a happy little girl who was actually transferred from California from one rescue to another. The rescue she came from was a rescue do designated to only healer breeds. Obviously, she is not a healer breed. She'll heal your heart, but not a cow or a livestock. In her small stature, she could be a mini bully because you have XL and regular and mini bully. So obviously at 35 pounds of cuteness, she's not gonna get any bigger, but she does have bully type breed in her thanks to her large chest and large head. And every bulldog, as you know, has that big heart that'll accept anybody and give them loves. We've only met, a, you know, a handful of times and she loves children, adults. She's working on her obedience. Right now she went through her medical eval and her um, quarantine period. And so now she's ready to meet and greet the world, have meet and greets. She's up for adoption and a foster. So if you're interested in Zoe, Go to the Pitbull Pen and you can fill out either her foster application where you can just borrow the lovely lady for a bit until she gets a home or you can think of maybe her being your next forever friend. Okay, well, someone's got to get her before Austin does. I, it's <laughs> tough. It's tough. I've already got two dogs, uh -oh. but yeah, she was amazing. Awesome. Awesome. So, all right. We'll tune in next week for another Operation Best Friend. 
from Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather with Stacy Lee. And I was thinking of the song, wish they could all be California girls. So cute dog there. 81 degrees right now, Dust Devil Sky Cam. Great night. Look at just beautiful traffic is moving along great and the skies are blue. Love that. Winds are at 10 miles per hour. Our sunset tonight at 701. Now the temperature trend has been cool and it's cool all the way down to Vegas, LA, San Diego, where they've had record high temperatures, but uh, the temperature is still in the upper to mid 80s in Vegas. So but still 10 to 20 below their average and uh, we'll see a little bit of a warming trend in our area thanks to this weird jet stream going way down south that will that created some storm today out towards uh, Montana that dips way down and tightens up. That's what's going to create those breezy and gusty winds. And then we'll see that jet stream come right across the state. That'll bring those uh, breezy winds and slightly cooler temperatures heading into the weekend. We've been tracking gusty winds all day long. As you can see, sustained winds through the area. We're going to see those winds picking up a little bit later in Yakima and hopefully things dying down a little bit in Ellensburg, but staying pretty breezy. Uh, light winds in the Columbia Basin tonight. We'll see see some breezy winds to start the day tomorrow. Foothills of the Blues, Tri-Cities, even in Yakima as the day progresses, those winds pick up once again. Yakima, Kittitas Valley, Columbia River Gorge, breezy through the Columbia Basin and some of those winds pretty strong out of the Hanford area. So a lot of fishermen are out there trying to catch those fall Chinook salmon and that is where you're going to see some winds out on the river as well. Let's take a look at our temps tonight. Cool, grab a coat, 40s and 50s. So only get, getting uh, 51 degrees tonight in Yakima. 49 top finish 48 tonight sunny side 40s and 50s in the Columbia Basin the warm spot Tri Cities and Hermiston at 53 foothills of the blues staying in the lower 50s with Pendleton dropping down to 47 so certainly cool weather is store in store tonight to, uh, for tomorrow mostly sunny skies seasonal and breezy winds look for those temperatures in the 70s and 80s now if you're hitting the road for the weekend should be pleasant all through the area some gusty winds in the Columbia River Gorge remember that if you're pulling a trailer or boat through that area cool temps for the mountain showers will develop on Sunday especially if you're in the Seattle area a good chance of rain there with temperatures in the 60s so pretty cool there. going to be beautiful in Portland this weekend increasing clouds on Sunday and if you're heading up north to to Spokane. Gorgeous weather there this weekend. Temps in the 70s starting to see those overcast conditions on Sunday. Here's what it looks like on our seven day planning forecast again. 80s tomorrow dipping back into the 70s for Yakima. First day of fall looking pretty good on Sunday in Yakima. Tri-Cities 81 tomorrow. Then we cool back into the mid 70s. We'll hit 80s again uh, early next week for Ellensburg. Breezy to gusty winds unfortunately for several days there. It comes and goes picks up in the afternoon it looks like and taking a look at Walla Walla. We'll see temperatures there in the 70s. Breezy winds first day of fall looking pretty good at 76 in those lower 80s by middle of next week. And in Hermiston, breezy winds for you tomorrow. Fall looking good, a little overcast, but overall guys, I'm thinking great weekend weather wise. Temperatures are comfortable right now and besides the wind and that's not even bad either. And oh, I was thinking about this today. It's a great time if you have a convertible or oh. the sunroof. This is the time of year where you can actually enjoy those. I miss having a convertible. Those last couple weeks, yeah. try to push it as long as you can. But. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Stacy. Coming up next on Apple Valley News now at 630. We are previewing the Golden Bachelorette, which you'll see right here on ABC tonight. Stay tuned. Look, here's a phone company who wants us to use our phones less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with us mode. U.S. Cellular, built for us. It's a free ride, but I already paid. I'm attorney Jeff Kreitz. And I'm attorney Megan Changaroya. For five consecutive years, Tamaki Law has been voted Tri-City's best law firm. Your trust fuels our commitment. Your support inspires our dedication. For 30 years, Tamaki Law has been your choice as a law firm that fights for the justice you deserve. Again, on behalf of Tamaki Law, thank you for your vote of confidence. We are so grateful to serve our amazing community. My mom, soccer is my life. I've been playing for as long as I can remember. Scoring goals, hanging with my friends, the travels, it's really fun. Before hitting the field, there's this tradition I have. Grabbing snacks, pregame feel, you know? Whether it's gearing up for an away game or it's a quick stop, 
My Hapo debit card is always with me. Just like my teammates trust me on the field, my mom trusts me to make smart choices off the field. Where do you, Credit Union? Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday, Hapo Center Pasco. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation in one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Sometimes, life is a funny way of turning sideways. Like when your kid decides they're a professional stylist the morning okay, of picture day. We go. Or when your to-do list isn't quite done. You went to Rite Aid, right? Or when you're sure you packed everything you need, but you actually need one more thing. We forgot our prescriptions. <laughs> we? We got you. Are Here. we happy? We are happy. Find everything you need? Yep. Yeah, life never really goes the way you plan, but that's why we're here. It means more at Rite Aid. How about a pizza from Tony's Big Cheese for dinner tonight? And with some amazing cheese bread. And yummy chicken wings. I want their way. When you want lunch or dinner the delicious, easy way, come to Yakima's hometown pizzeria. We can't wait to see it. Tony's Big Cheese Pizza in the Safeway Plaza at 24th and Nab Hill. Our phones were made to help us connect, and somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic, don't you think? Ugh, I love this song so much. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Weekdays at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back and check this out. Norway has reached a significant milestone. It's now the first country to have more electric vehicles than pure gas powered cars on the road. The Norwegian Road Federation says of its nearly 3 million registered passenger vehicles, 26% are fully electric, slightly higher than gas vehicles. Diesel is still the most common fuel, making up one third of vehicle registrations. But the Norwegian Road Federation believes EVs will outnumber diesel by 2026 and a quick shout out to our producer and reporter Toby Solvang she's from Norway and we just had to talk about that oh, so of there you go <laughs> the first episode of the Golden Bachelorette airs tonight on ABC and 24 men are vying for the final rose from Joan Vassos all right the inaugural Golden Bachelorette is flying off the success of the Golden Bachelor which premiered last year and featured a Benton City woman now Joan is a 61 year old grandma and school administrator from Rockville Maryland she left the Golden Bachelor series in its third week to support her daughter who had just given birth. So, um, you know, pickleball is a big thing. Or do you play at all? I, I, I can play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure how I am in an evening gown. No, it's not quite the outfit for the pickleball. <laughs> She's genuine. I feel like a giant a gorilla's off my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. Oh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, grab the panels. I'm so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now I live in Florida where pickleball is almost a religion. What was going on on the driveway was not pickleball. <laughs> it was total chaos. There were balls flying everywhere. Yes! I know I almost hit Joan. Uh, Dan smoked one right by her face. <laughs> Apparently, you guys had really good insurance. <laughs> and there are two contestants representing Washington and Oregon. So tune in tonight starting at 8 p.m. And if you watch The Golden Bachelor, <laughs> which a lot of us did uh, last season, well, we know what happened there. The two oh, that yes. paired up got married, already divorced. Yep. So a lot of drama on this show. And, and of course, Joan, of course, exited early. So we'll see how things are going to go. So <laughs> what do we have to do to get a rose, Austin? Uh, you know what? Here's one for you and here's one for you. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm excited. I will definitely be tuning in. So all of my forums, this. people have seen it on the East Coast are kind of already gossiping. So I'm not going to I'm not going to ruin it. No spoiler alert here. But 
a lot of drama, I think, coming up this season on The Golden Bachelor. And, and a shout out to the ABC Network for getting me this tie tonight as well. Yeah. So and there we go. Roses. And there's the roses. <laughs> All right, final weather coming at you next. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try our bagel sandwiches. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Something is weird. Look around. All possible Triple Play customers are perfectly represented right now. Wait, really? There's the family, the group of adult friends, kids on their school trip, and the first date couple, and the grandparents with their grandkids. It's just too perfect. I knew it. They're shooting a commercial. I thought we were better than that. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. We just thought... If it's hidden, you might get bitten. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need the number one selling subcompact tractor in the U.S. so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for 0% APR for up to 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Which is better, Honda or Toyota? Well, the Honda Accord and CRV both made the Car and Driver 10 Best list. Camry and RAV4 did not. In fact, when it comes to the 10 Best, no one comes close to Honda, the only company to make every single 10 Best list. That means Honda's not just better, it's the best. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get the Honda CRV with 2.9% APR financing. So for big deals on America's best brand, see your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday. Hapo Center Pasco. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Hapo Center Pasco. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833 Sale. Get 3.9% APR for 36 months plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance through Cadillac Financial. You love a cold, refreshing soft drink from McDonald's. So we've got even colder ones. Behold the cold. Enjoy your favorite medium drink for just $2.29. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Monday, Washington battles Cincinnati, followed by a special Apple Valley News Now primetime. Well, let's take a final look at your forecast. Stacy is here. That's right. And the viewer photo of the day. So we had the super harvest moon. He says, looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> well, it was the harvest moon. And uh, it's probably going to still be pretty bright tonight. I didn't tonight. see it, though, last night. I did. Well, I have oh. a puppy. So I'm out, you know, <laughs> at weird times of the night in my backyard. So <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, fall begins in just four days, guys. We're counting down. It happens Sunday, September 22nd, 5.44 a.m summer is gone and planning your day tomorrow look for temperatures in the 50s we'll see 70s midday so it's a layering kind of a day and your seven day planning forecast again 70s 80s i like the looks of uh, these forecasts for all four of those cities so looking really good guys awesome excited for those temperatures entirely um, i'm excited for the golden bachelorette that's Tonight right Tonight at eight o'clock <laughs> i'll be tuned in ready for more drama yep thanks Hoping for watching our news, news at six <laughs> Good night. <laughs>